Hey everyone, this is Jake Clark from Fargo 3D Printing. What we'll be talking about today is how to remove rafts from your part. So what rafts are, are they the foundation to a part? So what it does is it grips into the platform and allows for a nice smooth surface for the part to actually adhere to because PLA adheres better to itself than it would to a different material. So in this case, the PLA raft adheres to the PLA part a little bit better than the PLA part to gaffer's tape or to painter's tape. So what we have here is two blocks that we've printed with rafts on the bottom and we're going to take them off two different ways. So how you get the rafts off is take the build plate out of the printer then you're going to place the putty knife in between the raft and the build plate and usually you can push away from yourself and sometimes the raft will release. In this case I've actually um, taken the putty knife and I'm hitting it on the table upwards so then it actually gets in between the two then you can pop it right off. Here I am hitting it on the table and breaking that bond between the raft and the gaffer's tape. Sometimes it can fly off the build plate so just be careful that it doesn't hit anybody or hurt anybody. So some of the safety precautions that you should take while removing product from your build plate is gloves and safety glasses. Here I'm not wearing any gloves, but we recommend that you do wear gloves as sometimes the putty knife can slip and um, cause, some, cause some damage to your hands. So how to get the part actually off of the wrap? There's, there's two ways that we do it here. One way is to take your part and the pliers and you're going to line that pliers up on one of the corners of your part. And then you're actually going to wiggle it back and forth. Once you get one corner kind of pried up, you'll go to the next corner, pry again, go to the next corner, pry again, until you go around the entire part, and then you should be able to peel that raft right off by hand. So here you see that I lined up the pliers. I am going to wiggle that back and forth, up and down, and then it'll just pop right off in most cases. In the case that it doesn't pop right off, what you can do is you can take the pliers, you can go on one corner, loosen it up just a little bit so that the part comes off the raft a little bit. So you can see here that the raft came off just a little bit. Take your putty knife, slide that underneath, and then what you can do is pull the part or the raft towards you and then slide it right underneath the part. In some cases, it's easier to actually remove the part from the raft while it's still on the build plate. Be careful that you don't dive your putty knife into the tape to damage it. Usually, as you can see here, I'm using a very shallow angle. Don't use a very dramatic angle as that will damage your tape. What I do here is I just rock the putty knife back and forth and it pops right off. Once you've removed the raft and the part from the build plate, go back to your build plate. Make sure that there's no bubbles in the tape. If there is, just run the putty knife over it to get those air bubbles out. Otherwise, you'll have inaccurate parts. Thanks everyone for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put those down below. Otherwise, for Fargo 3D Printing, this is Jake Clark. Make sure you get printing, stay printing, and change the world.